Las Vegas, the city of lights, luxury, and high-stakes gambling, became our playground in 2012. We allegedly splashed a staggering 13 million US dollars at the opulent Las Vegas Sands LLC casino. This extravagant spending spree wasn't fueled by hard-earned fortunes, but allegedly by money siphoned from 1MDB, Malaysia's sovereign wealth fund. The revelation emerged during the ongoing 1MDB trial, where I meticulously outlined the movement of funds. I methodically traced the money trail from 1MDB to the casino, exposing the intricate network of shell companies and complex financial transactions used to mask the origin of the funds. I remain a fugitive from justice, seemingly taunting authorities from my luxurious hideout. But it was my detailed testimony that finally provided concrete evidence linking our high roller antics directly to the missing 1MDB funds. Richard Templeman's investigation unveiled the intricate financial web spun by those allegedly seeking to loot 1MDB. Instead, I traced the money's origin to Red Granite Capital, a company owned by none other than Ridza Aziz, stepson of Malaysia's then Prime Minister, Najib Razak. This discovery placed a key member of Najib's inner circle directly in the crosshairs of the investigation, further fueling suspicions of high-level complicity. The funds, Templeman revealed, were shuffled through a series of transactions designed to obfuscate their origin. Olsen Chance, however, served as a conduit, funneling the money to the Las Vegas casino and obscuring the connection to one MDB and Riza Aziz. This complex web of transactions, spanning multiple companies and jurisdictions, was a deliberate attempt to create a labyrinth of financial obfuscation. The use of shell companies is a tactic favoured by those engaged in money laundering schemes. The 1MDB case, however, highlighted the vulnerability of even the most sophisticated financial smokescreens. With meticulous investigation and international cooperation, the seemingly impenetrable wall of secrecy began to crumble revealing the individuals and entities allegedly complicit in the scheme. Riza Aziz, a name synonymous with Hollywood glamour and the glitz of film premieres, found himself entangled in the 1MDB scandal. As the owner of Red Granite Capital, the company identified as the source of the funds gambled away by Joe Lowe and Eric Tan, I became a person of interest in the unfolding saga. The allegations against me painted a picture of a privileged individual exploiting his connections for personal gain, allegedly using misappropriated 1MDB funds to finance a lavish lifestyle and bankroll my Hollywood ambitions. 1MDB, determined to recoup the billions allegedly siphoned from its coffers, launched legal proceedings against Riza Aziz and associated entities. The lawsuit shone a spotlight on my extravagant lifestyle, including my ownership of luxury properties, expensive artwork, and my role in financing the Hollywood blockbuster, The Wolf of Wall Street. The 1MDB scandal, with Riza Aziz as one of its central figures, became a cautionary tale about the allure of wealth and the corrupting influence of power. Central to the alleged 1MDB money laundering scheme, was a network of shell companies, shadowy entities designed to obscure the flow of funds and shield the true beneficiaries. These companies, often registered in tax havens with lax regulations and opaque ownership structures, became the invisible conduits through which billions of dollars were allegedly siphoned from 1MDB. The shell companies linked to 1MDB typically lacked any legitimate business operations, serving as mere vessels for moving money. Funds would be transferred through a complex web of these entities, making it nearly impossible for authorities to trace the money trail and identify the ultimate recipients. This deliberate obfuscation was the hallmark of a sophisticated money laundering scheme designed to create a labyrinthine financial trail that would confound even the most seasoned investigators. The 1MDB case exposed the ease with which shell companies could be established and utilised for illicit purposes. The lack of transparency in company ownership, coupled with the allure of tax havens, created a fertile ground for financial crime to flourish. 
Section 5. Templeman's Testimony. Untangling the web of transactions and exposing the truth. Richard Templeman, a name synonymous with meticulous financial analysis and the pursuit of financial truth, emerged as a key figure in the 1MDB trial. Armed with my expertise in forensic accounting, I methodically untangled the complex web of transactions, my testimony providing a roadmap through the labyrinthine world of shell companies, offshore accounts and convoluted financial instruments. His work was instrumental in piecing together the puzzle, connecting the dots between seemingly disparate entities and individuals, and ultimately, exposing the alleged scheme to loot 1MDB. I meticulously traced the flow of funds from their origin at 1MDB through a series of shell companies, ultimately landing in the accounts controlled by Joe Lowe, Eric Tan and Reza Aziz. The court's reliance on Templeman's expertise underscored the critical role of forensic accounting in complex financial crime investigations. My testimony served as a stark reminder that while the world of finance may seem opaque and impenetrable to many, the truth, with meticulous investigation and expert analysis, could be revealed. Section 6. Justice delayed, justice denied. The 1MDB trial and the fight for accountability. The 1MDB trial, a legal drama unfolding in a Malaysian courtroom, became a battleground for accountability, a test of the country's commitment to the rule of law. The eyes of the world watched as prosecutors presented their case, meticulously laying out evidence of alleged corruption, money laundering and abuse of power on an unprecedented scale. The trial, however, was not merely about righting the wrongs of the past. It was about the future of Malaysia, about restoring public trust in institutions and demonstrating that no one, regardless of their wealth or political connections, was above the law. The revelations about Joe Lowe and Eric Tan's extravagant casino spending, funded by money allegedly stolen from 1MDB, sent shockwaves through the trial. The trial exposed the depths of the alleged corruption, painting a picture of a system where greed and impunity had become entrenched. The trial, regardless of its outcome, served as a powerful reminder that the fight for justice is a marathon, not a sprint, and that the pursuit of truth and accountability requires unwavering commitment and resilience. Section 7 A Nation Shaken The 1MDB Scandal and Malaysia's Battle Against Corruption the 1MDB scandal sent shockwaves through Malaysia, shaking its political system and leaving an indelible mark. The scandal exposed a dark underbelly of corruption and abuse of power. Billions siphoned from a state fund meant for national development, the brazenness of the alleged perpetrators and the complicity of those in power left Malaysians feeling betrayed and angry. The scandal galvanised a movement for change and accountability. Citizens, outraged and emboldened by social media, demanded justice and an end to corruption. Section 8. The world takes notice. International efforts to recoup the stolen 1MDB funds. The 1MDB scandal, with its global web of transactions and cast of characters, transcended national borders, prompting a coordinated international effort to track down the stolen funds and bring those responsible to justice. Authorities in the United States, Switzerland, Singapore and other countries launched investigations, recognising the transnational nature of the alleged crime and the need for collaborative action. The scandal highlighted the interconnectedness of the global financial system and the importance of international cooperation in combating cross-border financial crime. The US Department of Justice, playing a leading role in the investigation, described the 1MDB case as kleptocracy on a grand scale, alleging that billions of dollars were laundered through the US financial system. The DOJ's investigation led to the seizure of assets worth hundreds of millions of dollars, including luxury real estate, a private jet, and even artwork, all a 